I thought the girls, when they reprised that song, anything could happen. I think that's the X Factor. You know, it was quirky, it was fun. I thought their duet with Demi was sensational. I thought Tate was very strong tonight. Bacardi, when she sang Hallelujah, you know, they were all great moments. So uh, I can't call it. I'm so excited to be in top three. It means everything to me. I'm a little nervous. No, no, no. I'm, a, I'm very nervous, but it was an understatement. But I'm just having a great time. I'm trying to enjoy this moment. If you win tomorrow, let me know. How excited will you be? Oh. I, you, yeah, you're going to hear some, yeah, it's going to get Western in here, that's for sure. We'll get a little loud. It'll be fun. I was thinking tonight, you know, that if we were having this conversation seven or eight weeks ago. I mean, the idea of them being in the final, it just, I don't think anybody would have believed it. But not only have they made the final, there is a chance that they could actually win this competition. Tell me how it felt to have that support from your hometown tonight. Oh my gosh, it was great. Um, just knowing that they're back there killing it for me uh, was amazing. And to see the water tower. Uh, that, that got to me a little bit. And I'm really happy for him because you know why? Not only is he a talented man, but he's a really humble guy, a genuine good old boy, and I, I love that. He's the guy we all aspire to be, both talent-wise and how he really just embraces and prioritizes his family. I really love that about him. I kind of like coming in as the underdog, you know, because it's the, as the favorite, there's much more pressure on you. Um, and I think Tate was feeling that a bit tonight. You know, you could see the pressure on his face, you know, because you know, second place, you don't, you know, you don't get anything guaranteed. First place, you're going to be, you're going to be rich. And now that we're done, yeah. I feel like I'm finally getting <laughs> into the swing of things. But in all seriousness, you know, I'm so honored that I was given this opportunity and I've had a phenomenal time and I really am gracious that people trusted me with this as I started off rocky and, but I feel like I'm finally getting my confidence and you know, I'm not perfect. I mean, I could always improve, but I love that I'm, I, at least I'm getting better with every show and not yeah. getting worse. i got to get back to work. You know, um, I, I, I work for uh, Sony Music and I'm the chairman of Epic Records and i got to get back to work. i got to build a company. Yeah, yeah. So my first love. But make no mistake, I will be sad. <laughs> I love this.